what is up guys and welcome back to new game plus today i got you guys another video this being another update for play the playstation 2 emulator available for ios android windows linux and mac os uh this update was brought to me by one of my subscribers he uh, told me yesterday that a new update is available and as always we're gonna be downloading the update and i'm gonna show you what is new and um and also i'm gonna have a game testing in the background so you guys can see the performance to see if the new performance improve or not but right now the newer version is version 0.53 i'm gonna have the link down below in the video description so you could go to the website and download the file and also i'm gonna have a link to as always to my google drive where i have all the files updated up to date for you guys to download and as well i'm gonna have like you guys can see right now on the screen the compatibility status with the all the compatibility list for all the games to see which game runs perfectly which game put into the game and which games are not good to go so version 0 0.53 was new on the new version so this, usually when i do this update they only do like a some improvement in some of the features of the emulator this um sometimes these are huge sometimes they're, they're not that huge of improvement but it's on quality of life on updates uh they do when i do this update for the emulator like one of the updates right here is faster state loading and saving safe state now use um compression and some tweaks were made to make this uh um safe state loading faster as you guys remember in my previous video um, be, um the previous update they fixed an error loading your safety safe states like what's causing every time you load is your same state safe, safe state um some of the cases it used to crash the whole emulator down so they fixed that in the previous update and with this update now what they did is they improved the speed in which the, um your game could load from the safe state they also like once again like they always do they do some specific games improvements so the game is more compatible with the emulator and uh, as you guys can see right here compatibility improvement with some of the game Oritashi collection games and Sega Ages Fantasy Song are now playable. Um, is those, is, do you have any of those games and wasn't playable before? Uh, like in some of the cases, and I've seen some of the comments you guys telling me that some of the game doesn't work, and that's why I refer you guys to the compatibility list. Um, sometimes when I do the updates, they actually add games to the list, and they are some specific games that will have major issues, like these games that were mentioned here in this part right here in compatibility improvement they also fix uh, a couple of memory card issues uh, and they fix a uh, 50 cent bulletproof and obscure the aftermatch so apparently those two games were having learned to make your issue with a safe um with safe data so the safe data was getting corrupted or even the emulator to crash like um like i was mentioning before in some of the previous update in the version 0.52 so those are some of the changes that they did with the emulator and um now that we know the changes i'm gonna just go back here i already got some games prepared so for for us to test i have let me close this so it could refresh <clears throat> i actually have let me see if it shows up there we go i got god of war here ready to go even though it wasn't mentioned in the in the update and the compatibility list uh we're still gonna give it a try because i tried this game before on live stream and i'm gonna have the link to that video so you guys can see what i'm talking about i tried this game on live stream and uh, the upscaling works pretty good but it has a major issue like when you um when you're playing in some of the levels the level is gonna be like all green and is really unplayable but the potential is there with this emulator the, this emulator has potential because that one of the cooler feature that it has is that you don't need a bios to boot the games but sadly it's not there yet like um the only one mobile emulator that is really good ps2 emulator is um <clears throat> Ether SX2, which has been I've been testing on my Galaxy S22, so I've been testing the emulator in there. And previously, I mentioned I've been I was testing it on my Samsung S20 before I switched the phone, and that's the best PS2 emulator. Hopefully, they bring it to 
um, iOS devices because they already have a beta for Mac OS. I had the beta and later on, if you guys are interested, I don't have a MacBook, but I will upload that file to my um, Google Drive folder so I could share it with you. If you guys have a map post, you could guys give it a try. So one of the major issues with this game, as you guys can see, is um, basically the audio. The audio kick is really, really glitchy. So... Uh, that's that's one of the things that to turn me off when I was trying some of the game some of the some of the games before. And this was one of the games that I highlighted when I did that test. And then was, I was actually doing a live stream. So you guys can check that out. Um I can't skip any of this, but uh just for the sake of time, I will jump up into that part so you don't have to watch all this cutscene because I can't skip it right now. So I'm just gonna do that now, and I'm gonna jump up so you guys can see some of the gameplay. And we are back. So as you guys can see, this is um, the major issue that I was highlighting during my live stream. Uh, this green effect on the screen. And uh, just to give you the settings, let me show you what I'm running with. I'm gonna go to settings. The game has been running my iPad Pro M1, so I'm using an iOS device that's top tier to emulate this game, to push it to the limit. Let me show you what I have in the menu. I'm running with OpenGL as the, um, the backend. I'm pressing at 1X, I'm gonna be upscaling the resolution so you guys can see. And everything else on the setting is default. So this option here at the bottom, all, all server JIP is enabled. And you're gonna need that to run this emulator that has some tutorials on how to use this especially have a brand new tutorial which make everything everything a lot easier for you guys to do it's called inject streamer but i'm gonna link you to another of my tutorial because you're gonna need some files and then you could just jump and watch that tutorial so we're testing this on 1x as you guys can see top left corner the frame rate is not like great even understand the resolution i showed some other other games before and they actually they could be pushed even more and the resolution they like to play i like to play this time 4x is possible to we'll scale it like that as you guys can see now and everything's looking more crispy and clean even you could see the um, cradles that is looking a lot more sharper but like I said, this game is not fully compatible in the compatibility list, so that's why it looks like this. And hopefully they get to fix this too, because that green effect is a little bit too annoying, to be honest with you, because I know that it's to play. Because I tested this uh, before, and also I did a test on Resident Evil outbreak and you guys saw in that video i'm gonna have another link for this too how good the game looks and run but it was having some visual artifacts too as well so i'm gonna save this here so i could skip i'm gonna exit because the only way for me to change the backend is by closing the game and balkan is uh, like you guys said so in there is experimental and um they need to do a lot of work on that because it's not working working as intended because some of the images are going to be broken so i'm going to load that state we're going to test uh, some of the updates it's supposed to load faster let's see and it actually did load faster like they said on the new update but this is a problem with the balkan backend is um you can see all those images is like really broken so so most of the emulator for the emu for this emulator i've been using only the opengl because this is doesn't look good at all it's really really broken so i wouldn't recommend use balkan with this emulating yet because it's, it's it's not it's not there yet so it's, you're better better off using opengl let me load the uh, say stay you see there you go. In open yeah, you can actually see everything better, but the only issue again is that greenish on the screen. In upscale, you could scale it up to 4x. If you go to AX, uh, it's gonna even break the king even more. It's gonna look sharper, but the game is gonna be even more broken. Because the AX is actually like around 5k resolution. 
So that's like pushing it way too hard with a game that actually is not that stable. And most of the games that I've been testing at 4X is runs a lot better and smoother. That's like that's like around if I'm not mistaken 1440p. But it look, it looks better, so you get a little bit of both performance and visuals. But as you guys can see, uh, we um we're not there yet we just need a little bit more time and hopefully everything keeps improving or they bring it eaters s2 because uh, like i said i've been testing it out my s22 and that emulator piece of emulator is amazing well that would be all for today thank you for stopping by and watching this video i appreciate you guys and if you like this video make sure to leave a like if you have a question comment i check all my comments and i try to reply to all of them so don't be afraid to drop a comment if you have a question and uh, thank you for your time and i'll see you guys in the next one